Hi everyone, this is Jazzy with Revive Movement and Strength. Happy Mother's Day. We are going to work out. Our workout today is moving all these bricks to the back of the yard. So, good job. I'm totally kidding. We are not doing this. <laughs> I mean, really. We're going to go to the gym and do some fun kid exercises. Yay. What do you think of that, Danica? High five? Yeah. So this is the beginning of our workout. We're gonna jump on the trampoline just to get our heart rate up. If you don't have a trampoline, you can just run in the backyard with your kids. They would love anything that you do with them to spend time with them. Jump. Yeah. <laughs> you can do your twirls. Wow, good job. <laughs> twirls. <laughs> twirls. And, oh. You okay? Twirls. <laughs> what are we doing? A Mario run. We're gonna do a Mario run. Okay, yeah. what do we do? We run all around the trampoline. Okay, just run in a circle? Yeah. Uh, same direction. Ready, go! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna get dizzy. <laughs> Okay, mom's done. Yeah. Here it goes, Winnie. Running from the bottom. Just water. kidding. <laughs> ah, reverse, reverse. <laughs> reverse. <laughs> the first exercise we're gonna do is lateral step box hops. So I'm gonna use weights. If you have weights at home for extra resistance, you can totally do that. This is designed to get the heart rate up more and it's a fun jumping exercise for kids, which they love to do. So I am gonna use a timer. So this is gonna be 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And they've already started. So I'm gonna hit that timer. I'm just going to use the edge of the step box. If you guys have more than one step box, make sure you use it. So your whole foot is going on the box and then <laughs> lateral hop to the other I side. I can't do it with my whole foot. One foot's on and then here, it is crowded. Like I said, if you have more than one step box, use it. We're making it work though. Your whole foot should be on that box. Good. Exercise number two is an alternate kettlebell bicep curl. So we're gonna grab our kettlebells. Again, this is 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You can keep that timer going if you know how to do this one. So timer's going, girls. We're gonna alternate one hand up and back down. Other hand up and down. So palms are up like this. We're doing a row, aren't we, Danica? Go like this, Danny. Like this, curl and out. <laughs> We've got our own versions going on. This is exercise number three. This is called a bulldog to a reverse sit up to a burpee. It is a fun up and down, backwards, forward type of exercise. So ready and go. So jump up. Good job. Squat down. Roll back. Kick those feet up. Good job. Come down. Roll forward. All the way forward. And then jump back. Whoa, good job. <laughs> and forward and up. And then we go back into that bulldog. So up, squat down, roll back. Good job. Sit up and forward, jump back, <laughs> up. And good, one more. We, even though the timer is done, but one more time, ready? So jump up, squat down. Roll back, good job. Come up, all the way, and then forward, jump back, up, and we're done. High five, good job. That was a hard one, wasn't it? Was that fun? Yes, that's fun. <laughs> so exercise number four is a crab crawl. You can do this racing your kid if you want. So my hands are gonna be slightly turned out uh, so I don't feel it in my shoulders. My feet are gonna be on the ground and you're just gonna elevate your hips and then opposites move together. So right hand, left leg, left hand, right leg. Right hand, left, left hand, right. Okay, so I'm gonna start the timer. No cheating. <laughs> Ready? We have about seven seconds. And raise your hips up. Good job. And opposites move. <laughs> or you can boop it. 
<laughs> you can butt scoot. <laughs> you get your own versions of these as you do. <laughs> Are you good, Monica? I won! <laughs> you won. You won. So this is exercise number five. This is a glute bridge walkout. So the goal of this is to not let the hips twist. You're gonna work the back of your legs, your hamstrings. So we're gonna lie all the way back. But is at the end of our mat. Okay, keep your back flat against the floor. You're gonna push your heels into the floor, your feet are shoulder width, drive your hips up. And then you're gonna walk your heels out, don't let your hips rotate. And there's that timer, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. The farther you walk your feet out, the more tension in that hamstring, the more you're gonna feel that hamstring burn. <laughs> Try not to let your back arch. Try not to let your hips rotate. Good job. You're doing good. Do your own version. So high. Good job. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Walk your feet out, honey. Walk your feet out and in. Just like that. That's perfect. Good job. Those are like flutter kicks, but those are pretty good. So hips stay up. I know. It's okay. Hips stay up. We're going to walk our feet out. As far as we can, the farther out we are, the more load on the hamstring, and then back in. Good. Is that a good one? You did really good. So this exercise is number six. This is plank frog hop. Um, I would go into an elbow plank. Being the adult, you want to be down lower. They have little legs to be able to step over you. We're not going to do the jumping part because, again, they have little legs and I don't feel like having a broken back today. So we're going to go elbows down into that plank position. Monica, you're going to step over, Mom. Step over. Go into a plank. Go into a plank right next to me. Yep. And then, Danica, you're going to step over both of us. Can you do that? Can you step over both of us? Step over. Good job. Mom will try to drop down a little lower. Can you get over? There you go. Use our back if you need to, and then step over Monica. Okay, and then you go into a plank. You go into a plank. And then mom steps over us. No, oh, no, go into a plank. Go into a plank. Yep, perfect. Right next to your sister. And then mom okay. goes. Then mom gets up, and mom goes over, and over again. Good job. And then mom comes down. Wait, you stay there. Now Monica's gonna step over you. Here you go. Good job. <laughs> Make your work. Make it more challenging. Now your turn. Now your turn. So by the time your kids figure out what you're doing, your car should be fatigued or burned or your back broken. Good job. Oh my gosh. Yep, go into a plank, little miss. Go into, yep, go right next to your sister. Right next to her. There you go. Good job. Yep. So now mom steps over. It's supposed to be a hop. We'll do it. There you go. My turn. Yep. Stay down. Stay down. Good job. Yep. That's a good plank. <laughs> you stinker. You're making it harder for her. <laughs> Come down into a plank. You can go the length of your gym or wherever you're working out. Oh, God. Dan. <laughs> Jump. Uh, there you go. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> and that is a plank frog hop. So this is a kettlebell farmer's carry. We're going to hold the weight slightly out from our side. And we are going to walk as quickly as we can from one end of the gym to the other. And there's our timer. So go as quick as we can. Go, go, go. <laughs> Good job. Good job. <laughs> Good. And we would want to do this the 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. <laughs> Careful, don't drop them on your feet. Don't run, don't run. Oh my gosh. This helps get our blood sugar down, so this is pretty good. And good. We'll set those weights down. Are your arms tired yet? Yeah? yeah? Good job. Exercise number eight is going to be a hula hoop, since we have one of them. And we're going to do a band jumping jack. So band is going to be around 
right below the knee. Over here, Danny, come in the center. So again, this is number eight. We have one hula hoop, and Monica and I are gonna do a jumping jack with a band just below the knee. So as we, our feet jump out, we're gonna reach towards the floor. As they come back together, we're gonna reach up. So ready and go. So we're gonna tap down and up, down and up. You wanna drive your knees out as you reach down towards the floor. Good job, you're gonna keep hula hooping. So every round through that you do, you guys could alternate or switch, or if you have three hula hoops, you all could hula hoop, which is a lot of fun. Or this one is a really good glute burner, and quad, and heart rate. Ready, honey? Yep, that's right. So, yep, so if you have a little one, they can bring the band above their knees so it doesn't keep falling off. So, yep, we're gonna jump out and tap, and then up and together. Out and tap. Good job. And up together. Out and tap. Up together. Down and tap. Up together. Down and tap. Up together. Down and tap. Good job. Up together. Are you tired yet, Danica? Yeah. Good. Number 10 is four. There we go. <laughs> this is exercise number nine, and the kids were begging to play this. This is hot lava. So we are going to start. Uh, whoever wants to start, go ahead. Me. Okay. You? Okay. We're on a piece of equipment, hopping from one to the next without touching the floor. Hot lava. There you go. Or reach. Good job. Perfect. the floor, we're using equipment to not touch the hot lava. And then we get to the hoop, that's our home. Perfect. And Danica's already made it. Okay. So Monica's turn. We got balance boards, we got step boxes. Sliders. Correct, we got sliders. job. You can go through a couple rounds of all these exercises. We got some foam rollers, some pads. And then we're here. And a balance board with absolutely no balance. And we made it. Yay! Yay. Lots of balance. Good hop. Whoa. There's no cheating in this game. We're doing good. And a big hop for the finisher. And it's an obstacle for a reason. Good job. <laughs> Good job, girls. Woohoo! Subscribe to this channel.